Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, there's been a lot of controversy about soy and breast cancer. But the truth is that in countries around the world where women are consuming more soy products, breast cancer rates are up to 75% lower. Now, unfortunately, many pseudo-experts have led many women to believe that soy actually increases risk of breast cancer. They've based this theory on the fact that soy contains isoflavones that act like estrogen in the body. But those isoflavones from soy act as very, very weak estrogens. In fact, what they end up doing is they end up competing with the body's stronger estrogens for effects on the breast cell. So in fact, they help to slow down the rate at which cells divide. When you slow down the rate at which cells divide, it, there's a less of a chance that breast cancer actually is going to develop. Other foods that reduce risk of breast cancer do the same thing. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, bok choy, you know these are healthy foods. They contain the indole-3-carbinol. It acts also like a phytoestrogen, just like soy isoflavones. We know they help to reduce risk of breast cancer. Using ground flaxseed is the same story. Those uh, lignans that are in ground flaxseed get converted into phytoestrogens and they slow down the rate at which cells divide. Even the flavonoid quercetin, which is very anti-cancer in nature, acts like a phytoestrogen, just like soy isoflavones do. So you don't need to fear the soy isoflavones. In fact, over and above slowing down the rate of cell division, there's some experimental evidence that suggests that if cancer cells are developing, that soy isoflavones will decrease the likelihood those cells can get access to the blood they need in order for the cells to keep dividing. That helps to protect you. So there's also studies showing that soy isoflavones, if cancer cells are developing, will encourage them to commit suicide, so they'll be less of a threat to you. And also, soy isoflavones help to detoxify any extra estrogens in the body. When estrogen levels go too high, it causes cells to divide too fast, and that's how cancer actually begins in many cases. The other thing is that soy isoflavones block the formation of estrogen in your fat cells. And as you get older, as you make more estrogen there, those estrogens can actually stimulate breast cells to divide too quickly and be a source of breast cancer. The most definitive study is when they gave women who already had breast cancer soy isoflavones, and they saw that it actually was increasing the number of cells in the tumor that were committing suicide and slowing down the rate of cell division of the tumor itself. So more cells were dying and fewer cells were actually replicating. So in fact, the, tumors, the tumor was actually shrinking while these women were waiting to have their medical treatment. So my advice is to have soy products at least three times a week. Try to get 35 to 50 milligrams of soy isoflavones on a daily basis. That's what happens in the Asian diet where breast cancer is extremely low. Now you can learn more about how to do all of this by downloading my 10-step breast cancer prevention program, which I suggest that you do right now. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other review articles and my, uh, my other downloads and resources, uh, my videos, some live footage of my professional seminars that will help you understand how to live a long, healthy, functional life. My review articles and teaching materials include my scientific references, so you'll, you, that will help to ensure that you're getting information that is accurate and completely evidence-based on each health topic. So I would strongly suggest that you use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing health and wellness resource for you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.